evening all welcome to kicking dust and uh, as we as we curtail and end the uh, the series three bonanza that has been kicking dust tactics and dust and fittings and dust um you, we're now reaching the twilight times this is where we now switch into i guess ramp down mode and we start to you know we, we're already preparing the artwork and the the, the next steps for dust series four and it's going to be our last series of, of dust which is a shame in a way but um you know ccp have made it pretty evident that that's the way the game's going um there will obviously be a move to legion but that's another story that we're not going to touch on in this playlist anyway so how are the games well to be honest weirdly enough the games are actually quite good um currently i, I couldn't tell you why I think there's still a, an, an obnoxious amount of heavies. Um, I think there's an incredible amount of, of bullshit tactics going on. So when you get this map, for example, everybody knows to get a dropship in and go on the, the building above A here and then the mushroom and then you drop spawn pads everywhere and then you just win. And I've got to admit, it, it, is, it is sad to see this. It would be lovely if they just got rid of matchmaking towards the end, you know, towards the end of this product. I think let's just get rid of it. It's kind of terrible. It's kind of frustrating, and I just think it's just a load of bollocks, it really is. It never worked. It was always, I think, a, a just a massive pile of shit. Must have been based on skill points, I guess, because that seemed to be the only metric it, it worked on. But, you know, somebody who plays for, like, what, you know, 10, 11 hours a day is going to wipe the floor with me, even if they're half my skill points, because I don't play that much. So this is why I think it, it's always been a bit stupid. Um, what can you do? What can you do? To be honest, I would love to see so many of these things just kind of resolved and sorted and, and fixed. But I think, sadly, alas, we're not going to. And that's why I think we are. We're going to move to our kind of our tribute, our montage, our, our <laughs> epitaph, maybe, of Dust and our last series. And our last series will go on until the thing ends. So even if it goes on for another year, fine, fine, no problem, we'll do that. It does kind of work out that most of our series lasted about eight months. So series one, two, three, they were about eight months. And now we're moving into series four. It'll probably be about another eight months. And then I think eventually Legion might go into open, close beta, whatever. And then we're into, you know, this game effectively being switched off. So that's that's kind of a good thing. But I've got to admit, we're not, you know, <laughs> I think those of you who've enjoyed a video a day from our, our, our product, <laughs> um, I don't know if you're going to get that luxury much longer. So just, just, just warning you, don't hate me too much, dude. Um, we are going to start playing some games of a similar ilk, though, because I know a lot of people obviously like the sci-fi shooter genre, so obviously we're going to have a look at the ones, as I've said before, Destiny, Planet Side 2, etc. So, you know, pl plenty, plenty of, of, uh, of activity out there. And I would urge you, you know, come play with us. I know this game, let me explain, Dust has been the worst game to have a big community in. It's great if you've got, like, 20 people who are on at, you know, sporadic times, and therefore you can cobble together a gang of, like, six. This game was made for you. Yes, you, if you did that. For games, for gangs like us, the biggest corp in the game, our corp, the Unholy Legion, and then, and then I think, you know, probably one of the biggest alliances as well, we certainly had thousands of players, none of which ever we could bring to bear, none of which we could ever really play with, none of which we could ever even talk to properly, none of which we could even really communicate properly to. So the whole thing's been an absolute abysmal failure to run, you know, a game the size of uh, Eve on Dust, yet they have all the, the knowledge and the, the, the expertise of managing such considerable numbers in Eve, all of that seems to be completely disappeared in <laughs> in Dust. I don't know why, I really couldn't tell you why, it just seems like all of the great ideas and the great kind of, you know, team tools and gang tools and things like that would, were there, like Gang Finder and all that, but for some reason it just, it really didn't work. And this is based upon the fact that in EVE you can take a thousand people into a single fight and all fight and be there and see, you know, whoever the, you know, you can see the people that, that you want to see. In this game, you have no chance, no chance to actually get into a single map, to go and play a game, to rampage across a map with hundreds and thousands of people. It's just, it's just not possible. It's a lobby shooter, for God's sake. So that kind of is, I think, what bothered me uh, the most about this whole thing so let's hope that um <clears throat> legion fixes that because if it doesn't then seriously what's the point of legion again it's just going to be another lobby shooter and people are sick of of gangs of six and gangs of ten and you know q synced bollocks they should make it so you can have all of a sudden 
300 people <clears throat> in a map but i know they won't but hey if planet side 2 can do it why can't these so this is my kind of issue and this is why we're going to play some games that i think you're a bit more kind of uh you know community focused gang focused so literally in planet side 2 if we had 100 people online at any one point and let's face it you know with our numbers we could probably put 500 people online then we would put that 500 people into a single map and ev everybody would get into tanks and we'd just roll across the map and just blitzkrieg everything now that would be fun wouldn't it and planet side 2 can do that now i think destiny can even do it as well but i'm again i'm not too sure so i think you know certainly if you're looking for that kind of uh i guess epic experience of, of big armies and such like that then you know look no further keep following us keep subscribed to the channel and i think just come play the games we're playing you don't need an invite from me bro seriously if you see me playing in an outfit in planet side 2 apply to it and i will you know the, the doors open come and play you know don't wait for an invite for me to do this it, it will be there for you and the same with destiny however that's structured and however that works if you want to come play with us just literally you know just just come join the group join however that it's going to be works of the clan or whatever it is and we'll play some games let's hope it is because again we built <laughs> what a thousand and you know i think at one point we had one one thousand five hundred people in the unholy legion i mean that that's glorious that's lovely that really was that really was a a, a great time and we had court battles we used to do like three court battles a day um they were great days seriously that was when the game was so much fun but then they got rid of court battles because, I don't know, maybe they wanted to push PC. I really don't know. Again, it seems mad to me that they would remove functionality, but what can you do? And to be honest, that, that leads me on nicely to my next point, which is the biggest reason that I think a lot of people get fed up and sick of this game is because it's claustrophobic. You can't escape anyone anymore in this game. It used to be, right, back in the day, back in the day, you would basically um, run a pub match, somebody would stomp your face in, and uh, you would then think, we'll sod this. You know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm bored of this now. I don't really want to kind of get killed over and over. It's not about the money. It's not about the points. It's just about the fun thing of having a bit of a laugh. So what we used to do is we'd set up a court battle and then we'd go and train. We'd go and have fun. We'd go and run all knife battles. We'd go and run all heavy suit battles. We'd have LAV races. We'd have dropship races. We would, uh, you know, have a tar you know, fun, bit of fun to see if we can get two dropships on top of a, a tank or vice versa. You know, we used to piss about. And because they got, and that was a great way for the brain to shift down a gear and just take a break, but still enjoy the game and the IP. But what they did by removing court battles was they removed that as an option to cool down and calm down and get away from annoying dick players. And that became, I think, the death knell in this in this game. This game is frustrating because there are, unfortunately, you know, like any shooter, there's some very good people playing it. And unfortunately, when they completely dominate a team, the team usually is depressed and fed up by that. Now, you can either go back at them and try and beat them, or you can just take a break and walk the hell away. But there used to be this wonderful third option, which was, let's go in and fly drop ships into each other, lol. And to be honest, people people would queue up to fight our court battles. People would come from outside the corp to fight in our court battles. That was how fun they were. So CCP dropped the ball significantly when they got rid of that. And I, you know, post in the comments, does anybody know why they removed it? I actually don't know. I assumed it was because PC was was coming and that was the way they wanted to do that but it's a totally different thing you shouldn't have you shouldn't just basically say you can only have court battles if you hold a district that's stupid because then you deny content i mean seriously i shouldn't be even having to say this i'm not a games developer but i understand that that's a stupid thing to do choice is a big thing of eve you could choose to do so many different things why on earth would they have removed that as a choice i don't know it's madness to me it really is Madness. Whenever I feel like having a bit of a laugh, I wind Nano Cleric up with this because he's obviously a games developer and I love kind of you know poking him with a stick a little bit and saying, God, why did CCP do that? And he just goes nuts because you know, he, he gets exactly that argument of why would you do that? That's kind of ludicrous to do that. So, so there we go. Um, to be honest, you know, what can you say? It's a very, it's a very sad time that we're seeing, you know, dust decline. I think Legion and everything about Legion is a good thing. I do honestly believe that. And I'm, you know, we are, again, I know I keep hawking it. We're doing a special on it. It's coming, don't worry. Um, <laughs> but to us, that's kind of like, you know, I just wish they'd have done that game from the start. I wish they'd have not bothered with Dust 514 because to switch it from the PS3 to the PC halfway through is also kind of stupid and, and, and you know, offensive, to be honest. But that, you know, that wasn't Rouge's decision. That wasn't anybody's decision that is currently working for the company, the CCP. That was the other people who've now gone. 
So I think Rouge seems to be doing a great job pulling it back and making Legion something interesting that people want to play. So I kind of celebrate him for that. Um, but I think, to be honest, you know, how many people are going to be around to see that? How many people are just going to come straight into Dust from Eve um, and, and probably never even have heard of Dust 5 and 4 or maybe just you know, vaguely aware of it? Oh, that was kind of like a, a weird lobby shooter on PS3, wasn't it? And they'll be so dismissive and they'll never really understand what was great about this game. And that, to me, is really sad because this, this, this was and is and will continue to be, at least for a few more months, one hell of a game that I think a lot of people who played it will will understand when they say I was there and I played Dust 5 on 4 and that I think will become a meme very quickly is that you know people will come into Legion from Eve and they'll just be you know the typical kind of you know poop sock kind of uh, <laughs> of Eve players um, and they probably won't really understand any of the culture that you know was built up in Dust and I think that's also kind of a shame but you know, I, I think there should be some form of thing to say, I was there, I was in dust, I've been been here through all this entire product, product's life. Um, and it would be nice to think that that was something, but I think sadly not, I think CCP don't um, really have a great deal of time or, or effort or, or ability to kind of uh, manage this community in, uh, into um, the uh, Legion. I think it'll just be a fresh start for them as well. So there we go, depressing stuff. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> The sun's shining, that's something, isn't it? <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.